That's the issue. There's no garbage collection pool. Uh, if you could just pair two, three, four, five percent of those organizations, what kind of impact would that have? Yeah, I mean, I think we'd need to do more than that. I think. Ideally, uh, but yeah. compounding every year, two, three percent a year, I mean, it would be better than what's happening now. I mean, I, I, I do think it's, it's, it's sort of, um, you know, it's a it's false dichotomy. It's not like no government spending is, is going to happen. Um, you really have to say, like, is it the right level? Um, and, and just remember that, that you know, any, any given person, if they are doing things in a less efficient organization versus a more efficient organization, their contribution to the economy, their net output of goods and services will, will reduce. Um, I mean, you've got a couple of clear examples between uh, East Germany and West Germany, North Korea and South Korea. Um, I mean, North Korea, they're starving. Uh, South Korea, it's like amazing. <laughs> it's yeah. the future. You know? it's the compounding good. effect of productivity gains. Yeah. Yeah, it's night and day. Yeah. Um, and so in the North, North Korea, you've got 100% government. Um, and this, in South Korea, you've got probably, I don't know, 40% government. Yeah. It's not zero. Yeah. Um, and yet you've got a standard of living that is probably 10 times higher in South Korea. At least. Just in terms of like ballpark. I mean, are you trying to get me assassinated before this even happens? <laughs> no, no. Like, if, if you have a once-in-a-lifetime once or once-in-a-generation opportunity and you don't take serious action, mm. no, I, I think actually the reality is that if we get rid of nonsense regulations and shift people from the government sector to the private sector, we will have immense prosperity um, and, and I think we will have a golden age in this country. Amazing. And it'll be fantastic. Yeah. Can we, uh, can we talk about SpaceX? I guess so. um, um, Texas, you were able to build the Gigafactory. I remember when you got the plot of land, and then yeah. I remember, it seemed like it was less than two years when you had the party to open it. Yeah. From, we, from yeah. start of construction um, to completion uh, was 14 months. 14. 14 months. Is there anywhere on the planet that would go faster? Is like China faster than that? Uh, China was 11 months. Got it. So Texas, China, 11 and 14 months. California, how and, many months? And just to give you a sense of size, the our Tesla Gigafactory in China is three times the size of the Pentagon. Which was the biggest building in America. Uh, no, there are bigger buildings, but the Pentagon's a pretty big one. Yeah, or it was the biggest. In, in, the units, in units of Pentagon, it's like three. <laughs> okay, three Pentagons and counting. <laughs> yeah. Got it. In 14 months. Um, the, just, the, just the regulatory approvals in California would have taken two years. Yeah. So that's, that's the issue. Where, where, where do you think the regulation helps? Like for the people that will say, we need some checks and balances. We can't have some, because for every good actor yes. like you, there'll be a bad actor. So where is that line then? Yeah, I mean, I have a sort of, a, in, you know, a, 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 in, in sort of doing sen a sensible deregulation and, um, reduction in the size of government the, is, is just like be very public about it and say like which of these rules do you, th if, if the public is really excited about a rule and wants to keep it, we'll just keep it. Yeah. And, and here the thing about the rules, if, if like, if the rule is, um, you know, turns out to be a bad, we'll, we'll just put it right back. Okay, and, and then, you know, problem solved. It's like, it's easy to add rules, but we don't actually have a process for getting rid of them. That's the issue. There's no garbage collection for rules. When we were um, watching you work, David and I and Antonio, um, in that first month at Twitter, which was all hands on deck, and you were doing zero-based budgeting, you really quickly got the cost under control. And then, miraculously, everybody said, this site will go down, and you yeah. added 50 more features. So maybe explain, because <laughs> yeah. this is the first time. Yeah, there were like there were so many articles like the, that this, this is... Twitter is dead forever. There's no way it could possibly even continue at all. Yeah. It was almost like the press it's was like rooting RIP, for you to fail. Let's write the yeah. obituary. Like, here's the obituary. Uh, they were all saying know. their goodbyes on Twitter. Remember that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They were all leaving and saying their goodbyes because the site was going to melt down. And yes. yeah, to totally fail. And, <laughs> and uh, all the journalists left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it, but if you could just pair two, three, four, five percent of those organizations, what kind of impact would that have? Yeah, I mean, I think we'd need to do more than that. I think. Ideally, uh, but yeah. compounding every year, two, three percent a year, I mean, it would be better than what's happening now. Yeah, I, look, I think we've, we've um, 
you know, uh, if, if Trump wins, and I don't know, obviously I, this, 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 I suspect there are people with mixed feelings about whether that should happen, but, uh, but, if, but we do have an opportunity uh, to do kind of a once in a lifetime deregulation and reduction in the size of government. Because um, the other thing, besides the regulations, um, America is also going bankrupt extremely quickly. Um, and, and nobody seems to, everyone seems to be sort of whistling past the graveyard on this one. But the, the Defense Department budget is a very big budget, okay? It's a trillion dollars a year, DOD, Intel, it's trill, a trillion dollars. Um, and interest payments on the national debt just exceeded the Defense Department budget. But they're over a trillion dollars a year, just in interest and rising. We're, we're adding a trillion dollars to, the, to our debt, which our you know, kids and grandkids are gonna have to pay somehow, um, uh, you know, every, every three months. And then if soon it's gonna be every two months, and then every month. And then the only thing we'll be able to pay is interest. And, and if, if this is, it, it's just, you know, the, it's just like a person at scale that has racked up too much credit card debt. Um, and uh, this, this, is not, this does not have a, a good ending. Um, and so, so we, we have to reduce the spending. Let me ask one question, because I've brought this up a lot, and the counter-argument I hear, which I disagree with, um, but the counter-argument I hear from a lot of politicians is if we reduce spending, because right now if you add up federal, state, and local government spending, it's between 40 and 50% of GDP. So nearly half of our economy is supported by government spending, and nearly half of people in the United States are dependent directly or indirectly on government checks, and uh, either through contractors uh, that, that the government pays or they're employed by a government um, entity. So if you go in and you take too hard an ax too fast, you will have significant contraction, job loss, and recession. What's the balancing act, Elon? Just thinking realistically, because I'm 100% on board with you, the, steps, the next set of steps, however, assume Trump wins and you become the, 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 the chief uh, DOGE, um, uh, of DOGE, uh, DO, like double G. How, how, like how, how, yeah, and, and I think the challenge is how quickly can we, yeah, how quickly can we go in, how, how quickly can things change? And without, 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 <laughs> without, I want that on my business card. Yeah. <laughs> without all the, lot, without all the contraction you and job loss. Yeah. 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 So, so I guess, how do you really address it when so much of the economy and so many people's jobs and livelihoods are dependent on government spending? Well, I mean, I, I, I do think it's, it's, it's sort of, um, you know, it's a it's false dichotomy. It's not like no government spending is, is going to happen. Um, you really have to say, like, is it the right level? Um, and, and just remember that, that you know, any, any given person if they are doing things in a less efficient organization versus a more efficient organization, their contribution to the economy, their net output of goods and services will, will reduce. Um, I mean, you've got a couple of clear examples between uh, East Germany and West Germany, North Korea and South Korea. Um, I mean, North Korea, they're starving. Uh, South Korea, it's like amazing. <laughs> it's yeah. the future. You know? It's the <laughs> compounding effect of productivity gains. Yeah. Yeah, it's night and day. Yeah. Um, and so in the North, North Korea, you've got 100% government. Um, and this, in South Korea, you've got probably, I don't know, 40% government. Yeah. It's not zero. Yeah. Um, and yet you've got a standard of living that is probably 10 times higher in South Korea. At least. At least, exactly. Um, uh, and then East and West Germany, um, in West Germany, uh, you, you had, just thinking in terms of cars, I mean, you had BMW, Porsche, Audi, Mercedes, um, in, in, and, and East Germany, which is a random line on a map, um, you, you, the, 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 car, the only car you could get was a, a Trabant, which is basically a lawnmower with a shell on it. Um, and so, the same, it's a, so that's just an interesting example of like basically the same people, different operating system, half, half government in West Germany and 100% yeah. government in East Germany. And, and again, it's sort of a, a five to, so I'd job, like call, job, it a, call at least a five to 10x standard of living difference that, and, and even qualitatively vastly better. And, and it's obviously, you know, sometimes people have these amazingly in this modern era, this debate as to which system is better. Well, I'll tell you which system is better. Um, the one that doesn't need to build the wall to keep people in. 
Okay, yeah. that's, that's how you can tell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dead giveaway. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. Wait, so your point is uh, jo jobs will be created. If we cut government spending yes. in half, yes. jobs will be created fast enough to make up for, right, just to count. Yes, yeah. uh, also. In four years, if you could shrink the size of the, size of the government with Trump, what would be a good target? Just in terms of like ballpark. I mean, are you trying to get me assassinated before this even happens? <laughs> no, no. Like, if, if you have a once, once in a lifetime or once in a generation opportunity and you don't take serious action, mm. and, and then okay. you have four years to get it done, and then and if it doesn't get done, then. How serious is Trump about this? Like, you, you've talked to him about it, yeah? Yeah, I think he's, he's, serious. he's he is ser very serious about it. Got it. Um, and no, I, I think actually the reality is that if we get rid of nonsense regulations and shift people from the government sector to the private sector, we will have immense prosperity, um, and, and I think we will have a golden age in this country. Amazing. And it'll be fantastic. Can we, uh, can we talk about SpaceX? Um,